Hello and welcome back to another scenario in combat mission, this time in the uh, Ardennes Offensive game, uh, Final Blitzkrieg. And it's the 23rd of December. The Ardennes Offensive is already petering out and now as the Americans we are pushing back the Germans. As you can see it's quite snowy. Now our objective is basically this road here, which um, connects to Laglais, or Laglais, Laglais, um, where Kampfgruppe Piper, uh, you know, the SS Kampfgruppe is um, holed up at the moment, defending, and we're kind of trying to cut them off by getting this road. You can see there are several objectives here, up to Sue, no, up to Jill up here, I guess. So yeah, this road we have to take. Apparently, mostly SS recon units are holding this area. As you can see, it's kind of like a, it's a nice map. It's um, like a valley. And it's kind of special because um, I actually was here at one point when the uh, Forgotten Op 2 devs and testers met up in, uh, I want to say, 2010. We traced the route of Kampfgruppe Piper and went to a bunch of museums there. And I distinctly remember this bridge here, or this um, railroad um, viaduct, and we drove through here, so I do remember that, so I'm pretty sure I was here. But yeah, anyway, we start up on this hill. I have two platoons of infantry, but more uh, reinforcements, including pioneers and tanks, will come. And my first step will be to scout out of the forest, to the edge of the forest, and send some scouts into this little um, yeah, village and uh, see if anybody's here and then secure it uh, so we can use this as kind of a springboard. I will switch off the objectives now. Um, the scenario by the way is called a December morning and especially this house is interesting to me because that seems to be a nice point for like a forward observer team maybe if I get one because you can pretty much look into the valley from there. But yeah, let's start. Yeah, sending up a scout team first. I wish we had these white helmet covers uh, for the US Army on our advanced maps. Although I guess then there would be more friendly fire because uh, right now if you see a white uniform you shoot at it as the Americans. <laughs> a pretty big map actually. Scout team is going into this building, or no, this one. So far, no fire. I'm pretty sure this is not really a strongly held or anything. Hey. Scouts are advancing in order to to secure this village. Pretty sure there's no Germans in here, to be honest. Although considering the size of the map, hmm, it's kind of hard to tell where they are. I also noticed that I do in fact have this forward observer that I could put in here. It was just so close to the edge of the map that the icon didn't show up all the time. So that was kind of annoying, but okay, I moved that up now. Now they're going in here and this will... Oh, okay, German armor. Probably moving along the road towards or from Kampfgruppe Piper. But yeah, that's why I wanted to go into those buildings, because you can have a nice overview and at least this open terrain. I mean, if they have something in the forest, then they have something in the forest, right? Yeah, probably moving along here. Yep, there's more. Or it moved over here. And that's why the sound contact is starting up here. Or spotting contact. Yep. Now, is I also see infantry or is that a bug? Never mind. Now, the company commander, I think this is him, yeah, a man named Odom will go into this house here. And the um, observer here, and I also bring up my 60mm mortar somewhere here. 
to uh, emplace them here, although they have a relatively limited range, and usually I like to use them in uh, in direct fire instead of um, with an observer. Here's the rest of my infantry on this side. There's the sec platoon advancing through these forests here, because there's this road here that leads down, like it's uh, one of those roads that goes down a hill, like zigzagging, which I, I want to see if there's any Germans no, here. Oh, apparently there's more armor moving up the, the road over here. Yeah, the icons have disappeared. Okay, what what can we see? That's a king tiger, actually. Doesn't seem to be moving, though. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's, of course, not good, but I will get some tanks later. And... Yeah. That's a... Uh, Sonder Kraftfahrzeug 234 with a 230-meter gun. Yeah, as I said, recon units. Mortars uh, preparing to put up their guns. Enemy yeah, yeah, we know. That's going pretty steep here. In reality, you, you would <laughs> probably have to, like, slide down or something. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, um, I have scouted until like this corner here, somewhere my scouts are sitting in these bushes, yeah, here. So, from, from here I can at least look down on the road that I have to secure. And I also noticed that there's a sound contact here. I'm guessing that might be another scout car. The problem is, um, <laughs> actually, like the squad that has my bazooka is trading behind a bit, so that's kind of annoying. Although some of them have like heat rifle nades, so let's hope we can maybe knock it out. Now, uh, considering there's more cover uh, along this forest, I think this is where I will. Okay, they can also see the King Dagger from here, apparently. That thing, by the way, hasn't moved, weirdly enough. But yeah, considering there's more cover along here, I probably w this will be my main attack, and I will uh, use the village up there as like a base of fire. Yeah, I've already in place a machine gun team here somewhere. No, not here. In one of the houses. Actually, the yeah, the mortars are also in place. Thing is, first I need to knock out the tiger. I hope it doesn't move into cover because right now it's pretty exposed. It's not in a good position. Enemy armor approaching. Yeah, yeah, it isn't approaching. It's actually just sitting there. Tanks. So you know, don't. No, don't get too excited. Advancing down to the road. Yeah, yeah. Fuck. We're under fire, huh? Yeah. Two casualties. Damn it. Where was that coming from? Maybe from down there? Ah, probably from that house. Okay, so that's our first objective that we need to get. Oh! Spotted them. And that's one again. Ah, okay. So they have a machine gun position here and the thatch line. Oh, also seems like that armored car was moving, huh? Or was it? Wasn't it? I think I saw it move. Okay. Now on fire back. It's blind fire, but it should suppress him a little bit. I think my other team can also see into that area because they spotted them initially. I've deployed them here. 
so they will add their fire soon as well. And I was right, the armored car or whatever that is down here, I think it's, armored, it's, it's an armored car moved up to here. So maybe it will jive down this way. I have a bazooka team or like a rifle squad with a bazooka sneaking through the forest here, maybe I can get it. I received reinforcements, tanks and pioneers. Uh, pioneers. The pioneers I will um, leave in reserve for now. I will move up the tanks and hopefully get a shot at the tiger from here. It's two jumbos, um, 176 mil. That's a 75 millimeter squad car. Um, two jumbos, 176 mil, which I'm pretty sure can knock out the tiger from the side. And also a 105 millimeter howitzer version here, this one. So for now I will move forward these Shermans. And hope that they spot the Tiger. I'm pretty sure the Jumbos could maybe tank tank away like the Eddie had no shots at this range. I don't know. Okay, it spotted the Tiger and shot the first round, but it's... Oh, I think it's shooting back. Um, but of course... The Jumbo only has a 75 mil. Okay, I think I hit the tree here. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's not good. I hope I can get the first hit on that. Ooh, shit. Partial penetration on the Jumbo. One crewman hit. And it's immobilized. Yeah, that's not good. They're bailing out. But okay, maybe... Maybe this will detract, uh, distract the King Tiger a little bit. Yeah, yeah, shoot at that guy. Come on, hit it. Wants a 76 one to shoot, but I'm not even sure he can see the King Tiger, it's a problem. Well, the King Tiger turned the turret back. And there's infantry, if they bail out, why would they bail out? They're not bailed out. Are they? Well, certainly the commander doesn't look out anymore. This is strange. Yeah, well, the Jumbo is distracting him. Trying to move this one up into a position from which it can see the tiger, maybe from here. Ah, shit. I didn't see that tree earlier, maybe it's in the way. Maybe I have to move it here. Let's hope it doesn't shoot back too early. Ah, it is aiming in my direction. Yeah, the 75 mil doesn't go through. Especially at that range. I mean, I'm shooting from up there. Shit, I don't think the 76 mil spots that Yeah, the tree is in the way. I need to move it here. Ah, uh, that was a mistake. Gonna move this jumbo out of the um, danger area here a bit, since that one's knocked out. And I hope Partial penetration. Ah, uh, man got knocked out. Great. Ah, uh, shit, this one was buttoned up by the enemy infantry. Come on, spot the King Tiger. Look out! Enemy armor! Okay. I think this is a nice position, it's pretty much cover. Okay, that didn't hit though. Oh, it turned back, it didn't see anything anymore. <laughs> Booyah! Penetration, but it seems to be moving towards me, okay. 
Oh, they're popping smoke. I hope I can hit it a few times before the smoke can uh, completely stop off it. Okay, that was a hit. Come on, one more. You need to aim here, not here. Nice. Okay, good, good. Knocked out, I think. There's another penetration here. They're bailing out. And the smoke covers it, okay. But they're bailing out, nice. Okay, so the King Tiger is gone. Problem is that basically cost me two jumbos. Well, one of them is completely destroyed and the, the other doesn't have a main gun anymore, so it's like just a machine gun nest at this point. So I only have this one left, the EV-8. But that one only has the 76mm gun, which isn't good for HE as far as I know. So yeah, it was kind of, well... Costly, but okay. This this infantry here has um, somewhat. Um, uh, now they're not pinned down anymore, so I will advance through here, and I will also put down the 105 millimeter Sherman here and uh, the Pioneers to attack through here. That's the spotting contact here. I wonder if that's the infantry pulling back, or if that's still the scout car that we saw earlier. So these will go to the to this uh, road down the hill to attack along the uh, direction of the main road down here. Whereas my infantry over here that came under fire earlier will advance out of the forest um, alo along this axis here. Yes, sir. And they already spotted something. Probably these guys, or, well, no, there was a spotting icon over here as well. What are they shooting at? What do we have here? Ah, uh, that was the retreating scout car. A shaman should be able to knock that out. Ah, crap. Yeah, that's not going to end well. I told this one to back up and this one to drive through you. Hope this doesn't mess up the pathfinding too much, but fuck it did. Of course it did. Ugh, fuck. Stupid pathfinding system in this. I guess he's taking the long route around. Chad, I think we're under fire here, huh? Okay, so this route is definitely covered. These guys need to get out. Fuck. Double fuck. It was the, um, yeah, it was the 75 mil scout car. So, the Sherman assault gun should be able to see it from here. Well, it's shooting, but only with a machine gun so far. Come on, use the 105 forwards on that. Ah, it's retreating, damn it. Oh, they're clever, I guess. I wonder if they could even knock out the Sherman. Maybe with heat ammunition, I don't know. Ah, damn it, and now they're behind the forest and we can't nuke them with our forwards. So. Anyway. That concludes the beginning of the scenario. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, thanks for watching. Have a nice day.